Hey y'all, I'm Daryl Tucker, and you are painting with Tuck. All right, what we got today, you say? We got Gary, we got Gary. Why am I moving it so slow? Cause Gary ain't fast, he's a snail. <laughs> so we got Gary from SpongeBob, y'all. Gary from SpongeBob. Y'all think y'all can do it? I know y'all can do it. What you need, you say? This is what you need. You need two brushes. You need a flat brush and a pointy brush, all right? A flat brush and a pointy brush. You need a cup of water, about that much, all right? If you have another cup, you can have another cup, a full cup of water, okay? Because water is good for you. <laughs> but this is going to be for your paint brushes. So wash your paint brushes out with. All right, you're going to need a paper plate with your paints on it. And this is the colors that I have for Gary, okay? I got teal. Teal, you can make a teal, but if you get teal, it'll be a lot easier to use. <laughs> All right, you can make a teal, but if you get teal, it'll be a lot easier to use. I have blue. I have white. I have purple. I have red and I have black, okay? Those are the colors that we're using today. Show you all the paint bottle that I use, all right? The acrylic paint that I use, nothing but a couple of, couple of dollars and it'll hold you for, I don't know how many paintings, but it'll hold you. <laughs> it'll hold you for a little while. Um, what else do you need? Have I said everything? Did I say this? You need a paper towel? You got a paper towel? Um, paper brush, yes, uh, paper plate, boom, 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 boom. I think I said everything. All right, so we're about to get started. You need a pencil. That's what I missed out on. You need a pencil so that you can draw out Gary before you paint it. I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm going to draw with a paintbrush because you can't see a pencil mark on this canvas because of the lighting. So I'm going to draw with a paintbrush. I'm going to use brown paint. You don't do it, you use a pencil, all right? You use a pencil, because you might have to erase. All right, so, with my paintbrush, I'm gonna use brown paint, you use a pencil, we're gonna start drawing Gary, okay? I'm gonna start with his eyes. Let's start with his eyeballs. So, two eggs, let's make two eggs together. So it'll be one egg here, And then one egg right beside it. Overlap it. Well, the first one overlaps it. Okay? You see? And then, at the bottom, we're going to go down maybe just a little bit. Okay? So you can leave room for the stems of his eyes. So we're going to do his mouth, Gary's mouth. So Gary's mouth, it's just a hump bring it up okay and he gets that cheek that's important <laughs> that's important okay then we're gonna bring this down where his bottom lip is bring it down and then it's just wavy line going all the way off the page wavy line all the way off the page am I going too fast if I am, please press pause and catch up with me and then press play and then we'll be all at the same spot again, okay? So, now we're going to do, we're going to bring that stem up from here to the first eyeball, okay? And then from back here, so it's the stem for that first eyeball, and let's do the stem for the other eyeball. Let's bring it up, and bring it up. And that's the stem. If that was too fast, press pause. <laughs> press pause, catch up. Then press play again, and we'll be all together. All right, so this is gonna be the back of Gary. 
gonna go down a hill, go down a hill, and that's gonna go straight across. Y'all see that? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a little slant up right there and a round circle. Round, big old round circle, okay? Behind his eyeball, from the top of his eyeball, bring it on around, and that'll be his shell, okay? So I believe, well, let's draw something else. Let's draw his, his inner eyeball. Let's put one circle there. Let's put one circle here. All right, let's do that. And we're through drawing with the pencil. Now it's time to paint. Now it's time to paint. Okay, so now we're gonna use our flat brush and do the background because, why we use the flat brush to do the background and not use the pointy brush? because the flat brush takes up more space. All right? And I did the aqua color mixed with blue to make the background. So I used aqua and blue. So I mixed them two together. I don't want to use all my aqua, <laughs> or all my blue. So I just mixed them two together. And I still got some left. And then I start painting around Gary. Let's start painting around Gary. All right. Go around his eyes first. Let's see. All right. Okay, okay, okay. And I forgot to tell you, one of the most important parts. If you don't want your color to be the same color as mine, it doesn't have to be. It could be a different color. You can have a red background. You can have a black background. You can have a green black ground. You can have whatever color background you want because you're the artist and it's your business. I'm just showing you how I did mine, okay? So you can do the background however you want to do it. I'm just showing you how I did mine. I forgot to say that. I think that's pretty important to say. All right, so let's keep on painting around Gary. Ooh wee. My aqua is dripping because I used a lot. I used a lot of the aqua on it, a lot of paint. And it's kind of dripping down my canvas. So I'm trying to paint over it. I'm trying to paint over it so it'll slow down the drip. All right, let's go around Gary. Go around Gary. We could paint around Gary while he's moving because Gary don't move that fast. <laughs> Gary's a snail. Gary's a snail. He moves like a snail. <laughs> All right. All right, now we need to paint between Gary's eyes, between his stems, because that's the background too. Want the same color. All right. And between his shell and his other stem is the background. Y'all see that? 
There we go. We got all the background together. All right, so we all around Gary now. Let me f finish up the top part, sides and top part. See how easy it is when you already do the outline, when you go around Gary, and you don't have to go around them no more. Now you can just paint faster if you want to. Alright, I got the background done. We got the background done, y'all. If y'all don't have the background done, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? Did somebody say press pause? If you did, you are correct. <laughs> press pause, catch up with me, then press play and we'll be in the same spot. Alright? Alright. So now what? Now we are making, let's do Gary. Let's do his body. Let's do his stem and his face. So I, I did that light blue. So I mixed blue and white together. I made them light blue, y'all. Made Gary light blue. Blue and white. So it's mostly white and, and blue. And I painted around this his face paint around his face paint up in the stem of his eye okay paint up to his eye I'm gonna do the other side paint up to his eye Jaw is paint under his mouth. Okay, okay. Can y'all see? Am I in the way? No, I'm not in the way. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. It almost looks the same color as the background from y'all's view. But it's not. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's two different colors. See? The blue. He's blue. The background's that aqua with a little blue in it. All right. So keep going with Gary. That light blue. We'll be done with Gary before you know it. We'll be done with him before you know it. Uh uh. Got a lot of paint. Got a lot of paint on my brush. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's let that dry a little bit. Let that dry a little bit. And then, we are going to do his shell. His shell is pink. So how you make pink? Is it red and green? Nah. Is it purple and blue? Nah. Red and white? 
Right, right, red and white. That's how you make pink. So we're gonna make a very light pink, okay? Very light pink. So just a little bit of red and more white than you use red, okay? So we're gonna have a very light pink. Very light pink. And we're gonna paint his whole shell. Paint his shell. I like to paint in the circle that the shell is. So you paint the same way as the shell goes. The shell goes this way, so that's how I'm gonna paint it. And at the at the bottom, the shell's straight because it goes across its back. So I paint it straight down here. But when I get to that circular part, I paint it circularly. So I'm painting it straight right here. But up here, it's more of a circle to it. So I'm gonna put a circle to it, you see? Circle to a circular shape. Alright, alright, we almost got it. We almost got it. We almost got it. We almost got it. Hang with me. Hang with me, y'all. going in that circular motion. Finish the shell out. All right. Why am I singing? I don't know. <laughs> Just been doing that for a long time. I don't know why I sing out my words sometimes. Do y'all do that? Y'all sing your words out sometimes? I don't know. <laughs> So I'm rinsing out my brush again, cause I'm about to use a new color. Now, I did green, like a real light green for like his slimy area and for his eyeballs. But what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do aqua at the bottom. It's gonna be like a bright aqua, bright aqua color, okay? So I'm gonna use that bright aqua that I had and I am going to go over this right here keep going in your wavy motion use your wavy motion y'all use your wavy motion All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing for his eyeball. So for his eyeball, the outer part, I'm gonna use aqua, but I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna put some white in his aqua, in his eyeball. So really light in his eyeball. If you wanna use the pointy brush because it gets smaller when you deal with the eyeball, use the pointy brush wherever you feel comfortable if if you feel comfortable using the pointing brush to do his eyeball i'm gonna use the flat brush still and just around the outer part just the outer part i'll put the aqua okay on both sides on both eyeballs on both eyeballs All right, you got it. All right, you got it. All right, so now I'm going to put red 
where we put that line at in the eyeball, okay? We're just going to put a line of red. A line of red. Follow my lead. A line of red. That's all. Just a little arch of red. And we're going to do that to the sun, to the other eyeball too, okay? Just an arch of red on both eyeballs. All right, and now black. So I'm rinsing out my, my brush, clean it with the napkin, pop, get the black, and fill in the rest of the eyeball, y'all. Fill in the rest of the eyeball. That's one. Let's do the other side. And that's two. Let me bring it up so you can see it. Okay. Is that what y'all did? Are we in the same spot? Are we in the same? Are we on the same wavelength? <laughs> All right. All right, what's next? What's next? Now, we are going to do Gary's uh, kind of darker pinkish circle of the shell. So it kind of gives the shell, make it look like it has that shell look to it. So I am going to use the flat brush and I'm going to make a darker pink and I'm going to put that Start here, and I'm going to put that hook around here. You got it? Looks like a nine, a backwards nine. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to rinse my brush out again, and I'm going to use pink. Not pink, I'm sorry. I'm going to use purple. And I'm going to put them four dots. How many dots is it? Five. One, two, three, four, five them five dots with the flat brush just smashing it against the shell smashing the purple against the shell okay y'all hey, can I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what I'm doing so I'm just smashing it here smashing it here smashing it here smashing it here well that's probably all I need huh I put one down here all right all right all right where we at now y'all where we at now now we're going to use the pointy brush and we are going to outline gary let's outline them in black okay pointy brush outline them in black make sure your brush is clean make sure it's clean and let's start with the eyeballs okay so let's outline the egg outline the egg okay that's one egg let's outline the other egg all right that's the other egg now let's, let's outline the stem What you say? What you say? You say wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just press pause, y'all. I know I draw fast. I draw fast. I paint fast. Press pause. Catch up with me. Press play again, and we'll be all together. All right. I'm gonna do the other stem. Okay. And do his face. All right. Now we're gonna give him his little cheek, like he been eating uh, nuts or something. 
It's like he's hiding nuts like a squirrel in his jaw. <laughs> then we go down his back. Okay, straight line, bottom of the shelf. All right. Go down the bottom of his mouth. All right, and then we do that wave. Give him the wave look. Give him the wave look. All right, all right. I gotta rinse my brush out a little bit because some of the other paint got on it and it's gonna blend together if I don't rinse it out and put some more black on it. So let me do that. All right, I'm back at it. Got more black on it. Now I'm about to do the shell. Do that line there. And then go on, on around the shell, y'all. Go on around the shell. On around the shell. There it is. There it is. All right. Now, what we're going to do? Let's do the white in his eyeballs. He got three white dots in his eyeballs. Kind of like a glare. Let me show you up close. Got the googly eyes going on. He got the googly eyes. <laughs> so, all right. Let's get the three white dots with the pointy brush. So I got one, two, three on that side, and gonna do the same thing to the other side. One, two, three. Three dots. Three dots. I don't know if y'all can see the dots from back here. Let me bring it up. Three dots. Y'all see? Now what? hearts he got hearts all around him he's in love he's in wub <laughs> he's in wub with another snail i guess he's in wub so let's uh draw out some hearts with the pointy brush and red if you want your uh hearts to be red so i got a heart here Alrighty, I got a heart here. Alrighty, got a heart here. Okay, I'm gonna give him one more heart. I'm gonna put one here. All right. Now let's fill in our hearts with red. Fill in our hearts with red, y'all. All right. Guess we'll make this a Valentine's edition, huh? Happy Valentine's Day from Gary the Snail. <laughs> can give this painting to your valentine. Give this painting to your valentine. What valentine day. All right. So, we have Gary Jr. and Gary Sr. <laughs> I hope you all had a great time painting with me today. I had a great time painting with you all. Um, please like and subscribe so that you all can keep on seeing what I'm what I'm going to keep on bringing. All right. <laughs> you all have a great day and thanks for painting with me.